Well, you could soon see a lot of Toronto school students dressed the same way. A motion is going before the school board tomorrow in an effort to make it easier for schools to switch to uniforms. Laura Zilke now with more. As it stands, the majority of students in GTA schools don't look like this. Clothes aren't a distraction for us. The uniform isn't a uniform practice. In the Toronto District School Board, only about 10% of schools wear them. In York Region, this high school, Woodbridge College, is the only facility that has a uniform policy. So I say to my students, the uniform is not a fashion statement, it's a uniform. It's a piece of clothing for work. Your work is to come to school and be a student. That's the kind of attitude that trustee Michael Coteau would like to see in more Toronto schools. There's certain schools where uh, it would be a nice fit. Public school boards must have policies that give parents the authority to impose dress codes as part of the Education Act. Most school boards, including Toronto, have very strict guidelines asking that a full 80% of parents agree that yes, they do want uniforms in their school. What I'm asking uh, the school board to do is lower that to 60% of parents who actually show up to a meeting. Coteau doesn't make the direct connection to incidents of violence like one last week at C.W. Jeffries, but he does suggest that schools are safer when kids wear uniforms. Having students in uniforms uh, will allow for teachers, uh, parents and fellow students to identify who belongs at that school. The youth accused of murdering 15-year-old Jordan Manners last year was a student at C.W. Jeffries. <laughs> Safer or not, the kids at this uniform school insist they're more secure in other ways. Well, it shows that we're all equal, you know, and it represents the school at the same time. Laura Zilke, Global News.